Now the first step is to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now for this you can select the game, make a right click, click on manage or you can click on this three dots and then click on manage over here. Go to files and then go to browse. Now open the game folder over here, open the content folder. Over here you can see the game exe file, make a double click and then you can launch the game from here and then check. Still not working. You can use this game launch helper, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. You can even make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and then you can check. You can even try this, make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on check. If this does not work, then you have to run this as an administrator. Now still not working. The next step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app and then top left, click on your profile icon, click on support option, click on gaming services repair tool, click on start repairing, click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This process will take some time and once this is complete, you can close this and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. Like if you have any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect external keyboard and mouse which you are not using. Like if you have key crone keyboard, Razer Huntsman keyboard, you can disconnect it, launch the game. If you have any external devices like hotas, wheel, pedals, and if you have extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Close all the overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay and then close Discord. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off overlay and then close Nvidia app. Close all kinds of overlay application and then launch the game. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner running, close it. Close, like if you have OneDrive running, you can close it. If you're using OneDrive, make sure that you're logged in and it's updated. Next step is to perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration. In Windows search box, click on system configuration. Go to the services tab. Put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure this is checked and then hit. Click on disable all, hit apply, click on OK you will see a restart option, restart your computer and then check. If you have unreverted your computer, remove the undervert and then check. Next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have AMD card, go to AMD website. If you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system and then click on fine. Now on this page, you will see the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver. You can click on View and then click on Download over here. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. And once you run the exe file, click on Yes to allow, click on OK and then click on Agree and Continue. Select Custom option, click on Next and then put a check on the box which says Perform a Clean Installation. Then click on Next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to Run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on add Microsoft Store app and find Football Manager 26, click on it and once added, scroll down, find the game, click on it. Over here, select high performance and you will see your graphic card. Now relaunch the game. Desktop users, make sure that you connect your HDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound. Go to power option. Over here, I have only balanced, but if you see power saver like this, you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try high performance or balance and then check. Next step is to Disable or enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this open, type in graphic settings in Windows search box. Click on graphic settings. Now go to advanced graphic settings and if, if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check. If this is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. 
disable integrated graphic cards. So make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager. If your computer has a dual graphic card, you can expand display adapter over here. In my case, it's Intel. Make a right click, disable device, and then relaunch the game and then check. Once done playing the game, you can enable the graphic once again. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box, and then click on View Advanced System Settings over here. And then under Advanced, click on Settings, the first setting, and then click on Advanced tab, and then click on Change over here. You have to uncheck the box, and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed, and then select Custom Size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM. For maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows Settings. Go to System, and then go to About option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total. Total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte. Then three times multiplied three. That is for maximum size, it's 49152. In my case, and then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that you hit set and then click on OK, and then OK, OK. Now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, then type in View Advanced System Settings again, and then click on View Advanced System Settings. Go to Settings over here. Click on Change, uh, Advanced tab, and then click on Change, and then select System Manage Size this time, and then click on Set. Set is important. Click on OK, click on OK over here. Hit Apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see Restart option. Restart the computer and then check. Still not working. We will revert to default. So you can type in View Advanced System Settings once again. Settings, Advanced, Change, and put a check on this box and then hit Apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Now still not working. The next step is to verify and repair the game files. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app. Go to Manage over here. And then files, and then click on verify and repair. Click on yes to allow, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to create desktop shortcut and launch the game as an ad. Launch the game using desktop shortcut. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app, and over here, uh, click on the three dots. Right now, it's repairing. Now click on the three dots, and then manage. Click on create desktop shortcut. Now go to desktop. Here you can see the shortcut. You can make a double click and then launch the game using this shortcut and then check. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset the game. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to apps. Go to install apps or apps and feature. And over here you can find Football Manager. You can search Football Manager. Or you can search the game in the list. Maybe it's FM. So let me find the game. So here you can see Football Manager. Uh, you can click on these three dots. Go to Advanced option. Scroll down. Here you can see Terminate option. Click on Terminate and then click on Repair. Once the repair is done, launch the game. If that does not work, reset. Reset. Once the reset is done, you have to relaunch Xbox app. So close Xbox app and then open Xbox app once again and then relaunch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Visual Visual Studio files. Scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64. You have to install both the files. So click on it. Run this exe file. Click on Yes to allow. Uh, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. Download this x64 file as well, and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. Click on yes to allow, and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart the computer. 
and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to delete microsoft store local cache folder now for this open file explorer go to this pc and then open c drive open users folder your username app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder local folder packages folder scroll down find microsoft windows store so here you can see uh, microsoft windows store underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder now here you can see local cache folder make a right click delete it relaunch the game and then check restart xbox app or store and then check next step is to log in with same account on xbox app and store so open microsoft store click on your profile icon click on sign out then sign in select the account which has the game pass or which has the game make sure that you select the right account which has the game or the game pass once logged in now go to xbox app profile icon sign out and then sign in select the same account which you have selected in microsoft store so you have to log in with same account on xbox app and store and which has the game pass or the game and then launch the game still not working make sure date time 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 zone and reason is correct at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on also set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now this is important sync now and then go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then relaunch the game next step is to install all updates in microsoft store so open store go to downloads click on check for update and then click on update all once everything is updated over here now you can once everything is updated update all and once updated now you can check next step is to update windows for this open windows settings go to windows update or updated security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box click on ws reset this will reopen microsoft store and then check next step is to repair or reset xbox app in store so type in xbox app make a right click on xbox app click on app settings over here scroll down click on terminate first and then click on repair once the repair is done launch the game and then check still not working then you can perform reset so let this complete and then you can launch the game if that does not work reset reset and after the reset you can check still not working do the same thing with store make a right click app settings click on terminate and then click on repair once the repair is done now you can open store or xbox app and then launch the game if that does not work reset reset after the reset you can open microsoft store or xbox app and then launch the game next step is to run this command so copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell make sure that you run this as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now during this process uh, you will see some errors in red color this process will take some time and this will install the windows default apps if you see errors like this in red color just ignore it let the process complete once this is done you will see everything red now relaunch xbox app or store and then launch the game next step is to start these services so type in services in windows at box click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services at the end here you can see four xbox services select click on make a double click on each xbox services one by one set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok automatic apply start and then click on ok automatic apply click on start if I let then click on ok windows update make a double click set this to automatic apply click on start if I let it and then click on ok find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic apply click on start if I let then click on ok 
find gaming services, make sure gaming services are running, make a right click, click on restart or start. Again, make a right click, click on restart or start. Now you can launch the game, still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. For this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Run as administrator only. And then click on yes to allow. Paste the command. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. Once done, copy the second command. Paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key. This will open store. Now click on get option or install option. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Once this is completely installed, you have to relaunch Xbox app and store and then relaunch the game. Next step is to install Xbox identity pro provider. If this is not installed, click on view in store. The link is provided in the video description. If not installed, you will see install button, get option or maybe update option. In my case, it is already installed. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. So you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app, click on uninstall, uninstall. Now the uninstall will take some time. Once it is uninstalled, you can visit Microsoft website. So type in Xbox app in Google search, go to the official Microsoft website. And over here, you will see download the app option. So you can click on download the app and then you can run the CXE file. And then I read, I have read, and then click on install. Let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, relaunch Xbox app and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, uninstall the game, and then you can try to install the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.